Hey, my name is Pat Carey, and I cover the central states in the U.S., and today we're going to talk about our working system. We're going to start off here with our tub. It's a 20-foot diameter tub. has four cross braces, overhead ba braces. We use channel bracing on the bottom instead of a flat bar or a round tube because that way it bites into the ground, has less chance of it moving once it's in place. And after the cattle go over a flat bar or tubing, they tend to bend it up and they lose their round. With the channel irons we have on ours, they can't bend it up. We've got 12 inch spaces on our locking. So that when the gate comes back, we've got less than 12. But the other nice feature about our, our gate is it locks on the, sh the sheeting. It doesn't have to go back to those locking points. And that's accomplished by having a molded rubber on our stopper. So it reduces the sound, reduces the clang. But again, like I said, it will also lock on the sheeting. So it's a safety fact. So if you're pushing cattle up and that cow pushes back on you, it's locking in the sheeting. And even if they keep pushing, then we get to our locking point so they can never get back on you. So you don't have to worry about getting the cows pushing on you. So it's a safety feature for you. And of course, it's a safety feature for the cows. Our gate, we use a corrugated gate because our tub is reversible. We've got it today. It's on a right hand swing. If you buy the tub and bring it home and you want a left hand, you don't have to buy anything extra. It comes with it. It's completely reversible. The other thing we do on all of our sheeted parts is we bring and we put silicone to take the high pitched sound out of the tin. When you're setting up your tub and you want to set the channel irons down, you got, you got a set screw, loosen it up, lift it up, set your channel bars down, line them up, drop your plate over the top of them so they're in each of the stub holes, lock it back down. Bring it up to the top, unscrew this is all you have to do, unscrew that, put your arch tube in on this end. There's a tube that comes up about right here. Slide that down in, bring it across, line it up, set it into here. And do that with all four of them. Once you got all four of them in, screw the cap back on and you're set to go. Okay, your tub also has your optional um, tube connectors. So you can add your panels right to here. So it has a one connection. You don't have to worry about it, where you're going to put your panel or how you put it on. Okay, the next thing I always recommend to my customers, it's a, you don't have to, but I really recommend it because it just adds to the, the flow of your whole tub and alley system. And that's the inline gate. The inline gate can work be worked from the outside, opens up, cows come in, you can shut her down and lock it from, so the next one can't go through or she backs the best thing about it is it won't let it back back into the tub. We use an inline gate, a scissor type gate, so it comes down on each side. That way it's catching the shoulders of the animal if one should happen to get through. The other thing it does, it comes up from the bottom so it can't freeze down in the winter when you get mud and crud and it starts freezing. It has a gas shock up here to take off some of the weight so you aren't Carrying the whole weight of the, of the alleyway locks into place. If you're on the other side, there is no handle, but all you have to do is push the handle on that side in and it pushes through. The next item is our sort gate. Again, you don't need it in your, in your alleyway, but if you want to be able to load cattle out without going through the full alley, great feature. Works on a gas shock again. When you're set up, when your working system is this way, we've got the gas shock, so it's pushing that swing gate over to that side, so it's never gonna come open. Work the cattle this way. Okay, it's time to load cattle up. Just swing it over, lock it into place.
Now we can run cattle out that way right into the trailer and you don't have to go through your chute and alleyway. Once we get past our sort gate, we go into our crowd alley. Our crowd alley is a, has the features of, it can be a, a left-hand curve, a right-hand curve, or an S-curve, which no other alley out in the market can do. And the other thing it is, it's completely adjustable. We can go from 18 inches, slides in, out to 30 inches. Nice thing about our alley is it can, no matter what kind of weather conditions, it's not going to freeze down because there's no C-clamp or anything guiding it on the bottom, rollers or anything. It can't freeze on the bottom. Everything is up in the channel up here on rollers out of the weather. So you just keep it greased up there and it'll always slide in and out. Got finger guards, again, keep it closed. Why we can go in and out so easily is our patented wing system. We use seven foot panels. We only have sheeting up to 48 inches. The reason we only have the 48 inch sheeting is because when a cow is comfortable and she's going through a system, if she's got a, with her head down, she can't see out, she moves through it. If we had the sheeting up higher, then we've got to get up higher so we can work the cow. Then you're going to have to put a catwalk. Catwalk adds to the cost and also takes away from the safety factor of the, of the alleyway. Then our backstops are a positive backstop. Fully adjustable. We just move them in and out. We use a rubber cord to keep the noise down and adjust them. into place, depending on the size. You want to put those back stops, your pin bones, on the back end of the cow. You don't want it way down in the twist because then you're just going to sit down on it, lay on it. Another feature on our alleyway, if you got a cow down, can't get her up, we can pop our pins on the outside here, pull the pin here, and swing this thing out and drop the cow out. So you can get her out of there. She isn't you don't have to take the cutting torch to this alleyway to get her out. Nice feature. Hopefully you never have to use it.